Boom. Do back live again. All right, man. Since this is not a formal podcast, we don't have to really do none of that. But you're going to take the lead since you've got all the notes. I'll be your B mic. All right. right. Good practice. Let's go. (laughs) 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 We're back at it. Dupree Lama. How you feeling, my brother? I'm good, man. I slept a lot because I didn't go to sleep until like 11. Yeah, boy, he's texting me all the I was like, this is still not sleeping, dude. I had not slept. I went to go get breakfast, ate some Denver biscuit. Biscuit, Ooh. yummy. Delicious. <clears throat> so I'm feeling good, man. I feel rested. I was going to go see Spider-Man, but I fucked up and slept through it twice. Purchased the tickets twice. <laughs> Damn, I overextended that. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. It was mad. You went and seen it and no, fell asleep? No, or no, no, no. You purchased the tickets and slept through the time you're supposed to be time, there. Yes. That's crazy. This man's rich. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He paid for Casper to watch movies. No, nah, no, nah, but we did the matinee, so technically we paid like normal. Well, price. I seen it. I'm, we're not gonna get too far, and I'm not gonna take away from the Big Lama show. I seen it. Um, eight out of ten. You like it? Yeah. But you know what? Very, I don't respect your. I don't respect your. Your fucking, your rating because you didn't see the first ones. Yes, but <laughs> even even taking that into consideration, someone who didn't have the backstory, it was still really good. Yeah, if that makes any sense. Oh, I mean the animation's crazy. They got yeah, good story. I, at, first, at first, I wasn't really fucking with it, but it grew. It grew on me. You know why? But because I think you got to realize. I think there's a switch that happens when people watch, like, the first one especially. That it was like, oh, shit, we're watching, like, a live comic book. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it was, like, legit Literally. a live yeah. comic book. Yeah. That's, That's probably, probably the best, best way to explain it. But, yeah. Um, I, 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 think, we, we I think I'm right ready to right uh, Let's go. We can uh-huh. get right into the uh, UFC 289. Uh, I don't know how much of you, how much of it you've seen. But I watched, I watched pretty much the last, last or the main three on the main card. <clears throat> and we can start with uh, Mike Mallett, old Canadian dude. I've never seen him, never watched him before, didn't know who he was or anything like that. But I watched uh, um, I watched him win by submission in the round second or uh, round two uh, with a fucking guillotine choke. Pretty nasty. Wait, who was the only one? Uh, Mike Mallett. Oh, that's how you said that. I believe he's like he won on the contender series, and then he's like Canadian. He yes, has like he is. Ten, he has like ten finishes. I I didn't see, I didn't see him yet, but from what like all the people are talking about him, it was like a big moment of like oh shit this kid belongs here type shit in his home in his home country in, you know what I mean? in the crib in the crib yeah. Vancouver. Yeah. yeah. Wait, well, so, he's actually uh, from Vancouver. That's even crazy. No, no, I don't know if he's from Vancouver, but, but he said he. Can, he, can, he he went like on a whole thing saying that how there's not that many Canadian fighters. Yeah. Um, and that he that he was gonna hold down the house and he did. That's exactly what he did with that guillotine. I'm not gonna lie, he like the the fight was really, at least from my opinion, was like a fifty fifty. But um he really held it down and he, he pulled it off with that guillotine. Okay. Now we go over into the Charles uh Olivero fight. <sighs> that was it's crazy because, well, now I didn't watch it live, but I watched it back since then. Um, man, I was I was going for Benio Darius, to be honest, even though I really like Charles Oliveira, and I think he's elite, elite. And clearly after this victory, it's like, you know, one thing, it shows that that championship experience, even being the champion for however long Charles was, you know, two fights, like, that gives a fighter a different level of confidence. And the way he just, bro, like, he didn't get knocked down. He didn't really take any damage that I seen. Like, there was, like, no notable punch that Benio got in. I mean, yeah, Benio was, like, controlling the, the top when they kind of, like, fell. Because I think Charles was, like, trying to, like, flip him over. He was working him on the ground, yeah. A little bit. So here's what I got out of it. And I don't mean to cut you off, but no, no, here's no. what I got out of it. Coming out the gate. He hits a mean, mean kick, I want to say, just to the top portion. I don't know if he hit him in the head, 
but it was it was towards the top. Yeah. It was me. And he he came out aggressive, dominant, and the other dude kind of like pushed his way back in and then they went to the ground. They went to the ground and in my opinion, Charles Oliveira was super calm, super calm and collected, yeah. was was He's defending him. I seen a yeah, lot of defending, elbows. defending any any opportunity he got. And to say the least, gets back up and dominates some more. Yeah. Gives gives him a couple combos and hits him in the head and it's lights out. I'm talking about after that, you knew the fight was over. It was just yeah. it, I mean, it looked like uh again, Charles just came out clean. Like it, it He's always had, like, really good technique, but, like, he was, like, pristine. Like, there was not a mistake, like. And the thing, too, also, Benil, Benil was on an eight-fight win streak. You know what I mean? Like, this guy was doing his thing, and, like, to me, he has, like, the, the skills to, like, compete against a Charles Oliveira who's good on the ground, has good striking, but also his style matches up well against an Islam. So it was like, oh shit, this guy might actually win. And then Charles just does what Charles has been doing the past couple of years and really showing us. I, I, I mean, it sucks because he lost to Islam. So he doesn't have the belt right now. And, and you know, he was saying it like, he's like the, the champion <laughs> and campeones, Charles Oliveira. <laughs> but no, but he was gangster about it in, know, the po- in the post, in the post conference. He said, he said, he said it in Brazilian, but he said, Who's really champion? Yeah. And they're not in Brazil. No, they're, they're, they're way in Canada. Canada. They're way in Canada. They love him, bro. What? Crazy. They go, they go nuts. They go nuts. He's a star. The thing, again, he has the most submissions in UFC yeah. history. Yeah. Right? Won the championship. Yeah. He has beat Dustin Poirier, uh, Michael Chandler, Justin Gaethje, like, and uh, again, he lost to Islam, but I think he had a bad day. And he said that in the, the post fight. He said, uh, you only seen 10% of Charles. He's like, I'm at 120 right now. Like, and he looks like it, honestly. And the way Darius, Darius didn't look. The thing was, Darius's weight cut the day before looked bad, bro. He was like, sunken in. Like, the way he was moving, like he pointed to like God. And like, he was like slow motion pointed. Like, you could tell he was drained. I don't know if he had a bad weight cut and that's why, but he looked very tired compared to when I've yeah. seen him fight in the past. Um, and it's only been a couple of times, so I don't know if that's like he tires out, but the fights I've seen him, he's finishing people and he looks he looks active, you know what I'm saying? And in this fight he was he looked a little tired early. And again, to me, championship experience helped. You know, like Charles looks like he wants that rematch. And Islam's kinda I think Islam's kinda scared. I think that, all right, Islam's who, good. Going back, who, who, was it when we watched him fight Islam? Was that his last fight where he won? Charles? Yes. Yeah. Uh, or, yeah. Or, uh, Islam? 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 No, I remember he fought Volkanovski. That's who it was, Volkanovski. Yeah. Um, before then, I was, I think in that fight, I wanted Volk to win. Yeah. Did, did he win? Volk, no, Volk lost, but it was a close fight. But that was when, like, Charles Oliveira, like, he kind of showed me, like, he's, he's, he's pretty damn good. And this, this next fight, that, uh, or last night's fight, um, really showed, like, how dominant he could really be. Like, he, he it, I want to say, uh, yeah, first round. First round. Knocks him out. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a real big uh, message he's sending to the rest of the rest of the weight class yeah and there were there was talks because they're saying like this fight was like the next up because benil was eight fights on on the eight fight win streak so it was like he deserves to fight the, the belt if you do it the right way he, he's the guy that should be fighting for the belt right so this was kind of like the first contender even though there's still the justin gaethje Horier fight coming up so that can be, again, I feel like Islam wants to fight somebody new. And by somebody new, I mean, if it's Dustin Poirier, bro, 
that's a bigger payday than if he fights Charles Oliveira again, to be honest. Even though Oliveira's a star and shit, it's just what it is. Um, same thing with Justin Gaethje. You know, people are going to want to see Justin Gaethje fight for the belt. These are, these are two guys that are, like, at the end of their career that, like, you know, this is, like, maybe their last title shot type shit. And then coming off the BMF that they're trying to promote, you know what I mean? Could be a bigger fight, so I don't know. But after that performance, I think Charles needs to fight. I want to see an Islam Charles, too, because, bro, Charles really can go on a run. And I thought he was about to. You know what I mean? Like, when he got the belt, when he defended the belt, and then he won. He defended the belt, I think, twice, and then lost. Mm. So it's like, fuck, bro. Like, this guy, he's there, man. And like you said, there's just some nights that it's not their night. You know what I mean? The the other person comes out more prepared, more dominant. Um, Especially Sets fighter. it off faster, or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, really captures the moment if they're, if they're in their hometown or whatever the situation is. But um, the next one up, which... If Amanda Nunes didn't fight last night and retire, I would have gave Charles Oliveira the fight of the night. No, he got fight of the night, though, actually. Okay, so to them, yes, fight of the night. Performance but, um, of the night. Yeah, um, but fight of the night would probably have to be Amanda Nunes in my book because of the retirement. Um, I wasn't really ecstatic about it because... It was it was it, it it didn't even compare to the to the Pena fight, like yeah. the Pena fight. It was a it was an all out brawl. Yeah. And Amanda Nunes really had to dig deep to put to to uh win that fight. And this other girl, she just got worked all five rounds. That's what's I, I didn't, to me. I didn't catch the 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 scorecard, but oh, if no, I was scoring was that, I'd give her all. Maybe. maybe. Maybe exactly. No, that's what I'm exactly. saying. Four one maybe. But if I were to score in that, I'd give all five rounds to Amanda Nunes. She just completely worked her while she just stood there with her guard up. So just to, to wrap the the what's her name, Irene Aldana. Yes. Uh, she has really good strike. I thought she was gonna put up a fight. And even like, there's moments. You know how I watch everything. There's moments you see things happen, and like when they're interacting with each other, where you're like, oh, that affects the fight. You know what I mean? But. There was a moment where they did the stare down the first time after the press conference and it was in the embedded USC embedded and Dana White like as soon as they like stood together it was like intense as fuck right and Dana White was like yo that just gave me goosebumps like he, he like and showed the camera right and I was like damn this is about to be a uh, war you know um and it wasn't <laughs> clearly like it was just a, a Amanda Nunes master class and a lot of people are saying this is not my take because I didn't really see it, but a lot of people are saying in the, the UFC media that she was, like, super, like, respectful to Amanda. Like, it seemed like she was a little starstruck. And when she got in there, she was, like, super defensive. And she's usually a little bit more active, or at least from what I've seen when she fights. Now... Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. You, you can say that for real. Yeah. You can say that for sure. It, I mean, it's the same thing. Like, you... you, you see somebody you look up to somebody i mean she was saying all week that she she was saying that she spent most of her time that she's trained training for amanda because it was like an inevitable she was gonna fight her you know same division she's the best she wants to get to the top like you know um but you you bring up june uh juliana pena and you know what sucks about amanda retiring and i said this before i was like it feels like amanda's gonna retire and like i thought she had two more fights because I thought she really wanted that Pena fight. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, this was supposed to be Pena fighting last night. Pena was yes. supposed to fight last night and pulled out because of something, injury or something. So it's like, now I have my own little conspiracy theory on the pullout, but it's got to suck for Juliana, right? Like, <laughs> bro, you're going to leave? Like, you know I could beat you. We got a big trilogy coming in. This is how you want to you wanna watch somebody who wasn't even on your level? You know what I mean? That's how I look at it a little bit. Even though but it, Amanda, it Amanda kind of, Amanda kind of, it, yeah, it's chestnut checkers, and you know, she for her to leave with that legacy, double champ, leave on a very dominant win, um, and just 
leave it off with that. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like when we go to get off at uh get off uh Call of Duty and you want to just leave on that either win streak or leave leave on that fucking hundred point fucking win on hard point. You know what I'm saying? Like you want to have that dominant win as your last hurrah. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? I mean, so it, it's. It's a very poetic way for a fighter to end the career. And I like what she was saying after and like how excited she was when she put the belts down. She was just like screaming like, it's fucking forever. It's fucking forever. <laughs> like, I mean, that's emotion that's been probably building up this whole fight camp. Like she knew she was going to retire. And I knew she was going to retire the minute she won and walked out the cage and went to uh, Dana because she never does that. And she went, whispered in his ear, hugged him, and then went to Sean Shelby who was like, the other like head guy whispered in his ear, hugged him, and then went back in the cage. I was like, "Oh, she's about to retire, retire." And then, sure enough, you know, what I mean, cuts the gloves off, puts the two belts down. Puts the gloves losing, we're her. losing a lot of great ones, bro. Fucking, we just I mean, had. Uh, it's a we new just era. had. Uh, yeah, we just era. had. Uh, what's his name? I just had. I just had his fucking client. Now that you say, it, I don't know exactly who you're talking about, but I know who you're talking about. B BMF, um Oh Masvidal, yeah. Masvidal, exactly, exactly. I mean, even though Masvidal would have wanted to end on a win, but it's just kind of that bit bittersweet moment, you know what I'm saying? You know, they've they've built up this legacy and career that it's there's one day and that day has come that it, you know, they're 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 walking away from the octagon. Yeah. I mean, Jones is saying he's got two more fights. I mean, I don't necessarily believe that. I think he can fight no. I'm gonna say across all sports, we got Melo, Melo retiring. Yeah. We got fucking uh, Tom we're Brady old, retiring. Man. Yeah, bro. But overall, the fight card seemed fine. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't a big fight card. There wasn't crazy energy, but there was like some people I work with. We we're sitting at the bar, and there's some people I work with also watching the fight on their phone too, like at the bar. So it was kind of cool. That was shit, and then. You know, Amanda retiring. But I, I'm I'm excited for out of this fight card, Oliver Islam too, I'm the most excited for, bro. That's gonna be a banger. Cause if if honestly, if Islam came out like he did against Volkanovsky, which was like he was good, but Volkanovsky was just as good. So it made Islam look very not average, but beatable. And then a uh, Charles Oliver comes out this motivated to get the belt back. Knowing that he can, whoosh, we're gonna see this. I think they're fighting two more times. They have to. Oliver is gonna win the next one, and then they're gonna fight for a third one, which is dope. We need that because again, like you said, we're losing legends already. So now it's like new stories that are gonna be made these next coming years. Think about it: uh, Aljamain and oh. O'Malley coming up. Yeah, that's a potential trilogy. You know, because they're both high level and. O'Malley's still young. Big names, big names. O'Malley's still young. And Sterling is coming into his Fairly own young. as the... Uh, yes, but coming into his own as the champion. Who's, who's like going for the greatest bantamweight title because nobody's defended as much as him already. Yeah. So it's like... And it, it's always that like... Lines. Yeah, exactly. The, the beginning stories of the road to legacy, you know what I'm saying? Like... John Jones wasn't John Jones until he became John Jones, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So he like, not, he starts to he choked build up this, and dropped him. you know what I'm saying? Like, you start building this this catalog of wins against top level players. all these different, yeah, exactly. It's interesting. And then you, you, you become that guy. Yeah. I invited, uh, to let you know, I invited Hen Dog in here for the basketball talk. He was sitting. Oh, here we go. Here I don't we know go. if he's here. I know it's gonna be very triggering. He's here. He should be. Yes, I think he's gone. No, nah, he's not. <laughs> not eight. He's gone. But we'll get we'll get we'll, straight we'll into transition it, from from uh, fighting in the octagon to fighting in the basketball ring. Yeah, fighting in the group chat. <laughs> Mister, no, 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 no. <laughs> Mister Conor McGregor knocking the fuck out <laughs> the yeah. fucking heat mascot. At first, I didn't see the video, right? So at first, I thought it was like an altercation. Like the mascot was probably being annoying, and McGregor was probably like off the proper twelve. Like get the fuck around me, mate, and just snuffs him. But then when he watched the little, little weasel, <laughs> because the first thing I heard was Heat mascot goes to ER because Conor McGregor snuffs him. 
And when you watch the video, it's like clearly was planned. But the second punch that he landed, bro. Uncalled for. Uncalled for, him. bro. I was like, the killer. Yeah, you're not fighting for a belt right now. Like, it's a mask on. Bro, that's exactly what it felt like. Like, he hit him with one big one, dropped him, and then said, I'm finishing this shit. Okay, he, he, hit him, he hit him with the first one, and for some reason, he heard Joe Rogan go, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But yeah, yeah so get, in, get into NBA Finals. We got Nuggets up 3-1. 3-1. 3-1. to one. Three to one. Three to one. And I can't say it's a surprise. You know, I'm going to be very humble, and I'm not going to. I'm not gonna be super ignorant and troll Robert this whole time. I'm gonna give you guys real <laughs> well, let me honest. Robert's. Well, you, you guys sound like ass though. If hey, anything, Robert, come over here. Yeah, do that. That'd be nice. Robert, pull up. I'm here. No, no. Please, pull up on pull up on this mic so that we're not echoing. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's streaming. Anyways, Nugs, Nugs up three one. Do we think? Do we think Miami Heat has uh ran out? I don't. I'll never say they ran out because there hasn't been a game where they didn't fight. Hmm. It's true. Yeah, they haven't got like blown out. Even they haven't got blown out even with. I mean, think about it. the game that Jokic scored forty; they won. But I don't know, man. They needed that. They needed last game. They needed to to come back to Denver two two. At least in my opinion. LeBron's already proved you can do that. Jimmy Butler, Kyle Lowry, Ben out of bio, the rest of them, they can get that done. It's a hundred percent possible. They just oh, have yeah. to want it as bad as we can talk about it, you know. Now now I do think they have the right leadership in Spol Spolstra. I mean, even the them losing I mean, think about it, they could have lost composure and lost game seven to the Celtics. But again, the type of players that they have shown to be throughout this playoffs and the leadership they have. I'm not counting them out. Like, I mean, I'm from Florida. I'm not, you know, I kind of want them to win. But also, I live in Denver. So, if the Nuggets win their first championship, like. It's going stupid. Yeah. Now, I, I, uh, so I'm going to a Don Tolliver concert next Sunday. And it's supposed to be, and that's supposed to be fucking uh, game seven. I was like, yeah, I hope they go to game seven because the city will be crazy. They was going to get food and then. (laughs) <laughs> Tangeray yeah, said yeah. Tangeray said no they can't none of them are Braun but here's the thing Go ahead. Braun, Braun didn't as, do m- as much as being from Florida as much as from being from Florida that I want the Heat to win you can't even really wrap your head around it with the squad that the Nuggets have right now how they can play this whole entire series of playoffs themselves it's been a very dominant road the whole way consistently. Yeah. Now, on the other hand, you have the Heat, who's been in the fucking trenches getting gritty this whole time just to make it this far. Okay. So, with that being said, even with that mentality that the Heat are on with that trying to... In those last, you know, five-second shots and, you know just barely making a buy, you can't play like that against this kind of team because now they're up 3-1 and you have to play perfect play like basketball. Home. Yeah, And at home, um, you have to play perfect basketball from here on out. Yeah. Literally. You literally do. Uh, huh. yeah, I mean, not, not impossible. Not impossible, but very difficult task. Yeah, it's not easy. If you look at, look, at, look at Miami versus Celtics, right? That looked like a that looked like a sweep was was going to occur. Just how nice these guys were playing. Maybe 
I'm not going to say they got too comfortable. I, I feel more or less they got out of rhythm. And all it takes is, you know what I'm saying, one guy to have an off night, you know what I mean? Or get clamped up or something happened to where it's it, it, it switches the tone. All right, but the minute that's that, that, here's, that here's the problem at hand as well. Here's we the win one game, well. the, is, is, is this another is, thing. Is this, is per, this is per uh, first, first take, take Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith, Smith said, said earlier this week after um, not the last game, game but the game before, before uh, yeah, I believe yeah, game two, that it was, it was, it was game three, game four. Uh, that Jimmy Butler is obviously playing through an injury. Yeah, I did hear that. I agree. And, hold on, hold on. Stephen A. Smith said, and I agree with this. Jimmy Butler isn't the type of player to show weakness, show that he's hurting, show that he's frustrated. Um. Show anything, anything like, like that, that. And, and the, the fact, fact that he is proves what he's up against, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, he's really, really struggling, struggling leading this Miami Heat team unhealthy and, and not a lot of help. help. Literally, his it's only help, help right, that, that's, that's been, been so far has been bam, consistently. Because every once in a while, you got Martin who have a good game, Gabe Vincent and have a good game, but it hasn't been consistent. What is consistent is that Jokic has has a low this this series has a low a low points game um, with twenty three points and his highest being a 41, 41 point game. Jimmy Butler isn't at the state to 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 put those numbers up. And that's the best player on your squad. That's that's the big main issue at hand. Now you're down three one, and you need you need perfect basketball. I mean, at the end of the day, they all need to step up. Hurting. I'm a hero. Yeah, what happened? I, what happened? I that? I personally don't expect nothing. This this is. So what it is is he doesn't want to come back and be a hindrance of any way, shape, now, or form. He doesn't want to come back if he feels that he is not yet in the business because he hasn't came back. Yeah. I believe they did give him the okay to go in game three, but he he released and just said, "I'm not here to to put my team at risk." He wants to be confident and, and knowing he can go out and make a difference before actually stepping on the floor. He doesn't want to just be a body. Yeah. And also, like, they had chemistry, like, especially last series, like, he would replace somebody in the lineup, essentially. You know what I mean? Or get more time. Not more time, but, you know what I mean? Take some time it's away from somebody. Regardless, regardless, of, who stepping up, Tyler regardless of who's been stepping hurt. up. Regardless of who's stepping up. If you let, if you let Jamal Murray get hot, Jamal, Jamal Murray does a triple-double triple double with... 34 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists. Yeah. That's, that's not Anybody that's stepping up on the Heat squad has to do numbers like that if they're going to have a chance at beating the Knicks. Yeah, I'm going to expect a triple-double out of anybody. I'm expecting it out of the For Jamal, that's not an everyday. It's not. It's not. But I'm, I'm saying in the event that you let either J just Jamal Murray or Jokic get hot, you know, Jokic will either give you 41 and then I, I, I believe it might even been the same game. No, you know what it is? I think Jokic dropped 41 the game that you guys won. The only the only game you guys won. And Jokic still had 41. Yeah, but that proves they can I mean that they did exactly what you said was slow down Murray in that game. So like, I that's never the key be to any success. more honest than to say there's just no stopping Jokic. You know, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Bam, Bam has looked good against him. Bam has done everything he's can, but the minute they get that switch, it's over with. Yeah. Bam, if you really collectively look at this, Bam has been doing a really good job every chance he gets to defend Jokic. It's just the switches pair it up because they're small 
You know what I'm saying? They got small ball and they're not scoring. So if you replace that, not necessarily small ball, because obviously that'd be the off season thing. But if you if you can get there and they can score, these guys can get just as hot. But the thing is, is if one of them gets hot, the whole team is flourishing. The whole team, because we've seen countless times if all it takes is one person. All it took was that one game for Gabe Benson to get hot. Mm. Now you got Max Struess hitting threes. That's, that's you got ba- Kyle Lowry dribbling up the court ball. hitting threes. You got, got fucking Jimmy Butler. Butler. But, but like you said, it's threes. it's first to four. It's first to four. You guys only had one game like that. Exactly. Which these these other these other three losses. Here on out. These other three losses. You guys have had nothing to to answer for. That yeah. makes sense. I mean, but they're done. Those games are done. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, about yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. last the Le- the Heat's last series, like they were up three zero, lost three in a row, one lap game. So like anything can happen this series. And again, I, I think it would be dope to see this Heat team push it to a game seven because that's what they've shown us all year. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, or all playoffs at least. You know, this is the first year that I've really been like keened in on basketball. So it's kind of dope that the team that I actually seen in person. And look how they look at how they perform under those odds, though. You feel me? They lost the playing game. But then again, they knew for a fact they had to take that next. But you guys haven't seen. I don't think any of those teams that you played are nothing in close to what the Nuggets are. That's not true. That's a bias. That's a bias. Let's go down. Let's go down the lines and and let's compare apples to apples. Game round one. Bucks. Last year's, uh, That's one of the top teams in the league with one of the greatest players in the league. MVP. MVP within the last five years. Okay. Candidate for at least the last four years. And on the Bucks in the Bucks series, was it a completely healthy team or was it just Giannis? That the, the healthy team excuse that's out the books because Victor Oladipo has a torn ACL and Tyler Hero, who's our second best scorer, broke his hand in the first game. Giannis at least got to come back for those last two games and just underperformed, and they got beat. That was a team that was supposed to beat us regardless of injury, regardless of Giannis being on. Those guys were still right, supposed right. to beat us statistically. The Knicks, the Knicks were then, that the Knicks. Was an even even matchup team to me. The Knicks had a higher percentage to beat us than we beat them. That's true, and we beat them convincingly. But they showed they were the better team in that, and then you got the Celtics who. Arguably, was supposed to be in the finals. I tell you this: I, if, if I had to just guesstimate the odds, I would say at least over sixty percent of people felt the Celtics were gonna win that series, and that the Heat stood no chance. So many people said, "Oh, it's done! It's done!" Then they went up three zero. Everybody was happy, and then they start coming back. They're like, "Oh." Oh, now it's getting scary. Now it's getting scary. Game seven, they're taking it. They're taking it. And look what happened. Miami won convincingly. When they truly sit there and they lock in and they all are focused, they are a team to be reckoned with. And that's all bias aside. Now, the mountain ahead is the greatest fucking team in the league. By far. By far. Because I seen us, if, if the Lakers made it through them, I seen my I seen Miami winning four two. I didn't I don't I didn't see any problems in like with the Lakers whatsoever. I knew the Nuggets were going to be the team to beat, and here we are. It's three one. Yeah, well, but we're not a team that quits. We don't give up. All right, we think they're not we're fucking quitters. Let's go. Let's go out here before they give up. Let's put a bow. On. <laughs> we think uh, ending in game five or going game six. Nuggets and five. Fuck all that, nigga. Nuggets and five. I for sure think it's going seven games. Seven. I would like to Monday see Monday night. Monday night, they getting fucking packed like some cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like some. How does it work? How does it work? They go. They play in Denver. Do they go back to Miami for game six? I, I thought, like, I read some shit online or looked. Before, like, before every game, like, even started. And it was saying the game seven was going to be in Miami, but I think it's going to be in Denver. I'm not sure. It has to be. There's a one seed. Wait, how does it work? Who gets home? Yeah, how does that work? Let me look it up right now. 
game five, it's ending, so it's going to stop right there in Denver. You have to go and play in Denver. In the crib. Have you got, that other game? Y'all won We're the Miami first team to beat them on their home court this playoffs. No, I'm saying, did you guys beat them at home yet? Huh? Have you? That that's their one game. They they won at in Denver. Yes, we beat them at their home court. And the plot thickens. The plot, yeah, that's the thing. That's why they needed a win. They needed to split the thing. They need to split it. Uh, Tangeray said Game Seven, Denver. I mean, oh, so it is in Denver. So that means Game Six in Miami. They, I mean. If they get it done in Denver, they can possibly bring it back. How likely that's gonna? I don't know, man. These guys are hot. <laughs> you know, like I wouldn't put hey, my money on it. That's thing all is, I'm gonna is say. Miami's yeah. yet to get hot, my and they're not a team that's gonna money. be like this forever. It's already been proven. Now we just gotta sit back and enjoy the show. These boys are about to turn up. Yeah. Tang said, but no, Nuggets will close tomorrow. Yeah, I think <sighs> it's hard, bro. Hey. Hey, and you're not wrong for feeling that way. Uh, uh, but only LeBron can come back from 3-1. <laughs> hey, that's the only one, man. The Warriors, the are, Warriors are the only team to 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 choke a 3-1 to one, uh, finals lead ever. Mm-hmm. This, 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 this type of thing only happens one time ever in the history of the NBA. That's why odds are odds. Sometimes you roll with if the If you're underdog. that confident, put your money on it. You're going to win big. You're going you're to take us all out the trenches. You Listen, what have I been? What have I been? The whole thing. The whole thing. I knew from the beginning of this season we were going all the way. Put your... Put, Put your every last dollar on Miami. After last finals. year, when and Celtics hit us home, be out the when they sent us home, <laughs> you would he take said us next out the year we're going we to make it all the way. You could turn $10 into 10 mil right now if you bet on the, <laughs> if you bet on the Heat to win the finals. But um, we can go ahead and wrap up that. You know, that's oh, yeah. here right there. We'll, we'll get everybody's yeah, last take. I'm going. Try, try I'm try. going to. Uh, I'm going to be at my job tomorrow. You know what I mean with the people of Denver. And if they close it out, it's going to be a crazy time. I know for a fact because the games have been getting intense. One thing about Denver is they are a sports town, and I think they're a small market in terms of like you know, especially like the teams we are used to, like East Coast teams. They're like bit more big market teams, but. I don't know. It's just energy, and like you could tell, like these people are like they want this. They want to see the first championship and shit. You know what I mean? So it's dope. All right, but so, Robert, what you got? He I got won. Miami in seven. Miami in seven. Miami in seven. Remember in Miami. it. Stamp it. Lock it down. In Miami. All right, and I'll go ahead with mine. I see. I'm a matter of fact. I'll be nice and I'll say Nuggets and Six. Nuggets and Six. Nuggets and Six. Nuggets. No. It either ends tomorrow or it's going game seven. That's how I feel. I feel I feel maybe the heat might have it in them one more time. But I think they'll win. win. And then Denver's gonna go ahead and close that up game six for sure. If not game five. But uh, now let me get into my favorite part because this has been taking a launch here in this last week. Um, go ahead and talk about Blackout. What we got going on? Um, as you guys can see, I got a little prototype going. This was the first one. You know what I'm saying? Putting my idea into the physical world. Kind of cool, you know. That's why. All right, um, all right. Uh, we have a blackout group chat that's just full of a uh, killer, <laughs> a bunch of dudes just shit talking all day. But I thought they were like a little hard on you in there. I was like, 
Okay, bro, he's his first shirt. Just let him let him rock it. You know what I mean? It, like it's gonna get better. You're gonna get. I mean, the the criticism was good, in terms of like constructively. But yeah, and that and honestly, that's what I was looking for. Cause I mean, I I just kept reminding myself like it's the prototype. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's gonna it's this this is gonna be the most. But it's like you said, it's in the physical, so it's like it, it's a little different than when you think of it. You know, like fuck, yeah. like you're wearing your shirt right now. You know, your shit. Exactly. It's fire to me. But, um, but I've been working on, uh, you know, obviously we did the late night with uh, AD and J Birdie last week, first episode. Done pretty well. It's got like 17 views on Twitch, which is decent for a fucking a llama show. Don't even get that on my Twitch. Um, And then like 20 views on, on the Blackout channel. So go run those numbers up. We got episode two coming tomorrow. I'm excited for that. I've been working a lot on like logo, I like logo concepts for it. Trying to see like what our colorway will be and like how we're gonna set it up, but it's been fire. I, nah, I mean, as long as as long as we're getting in the habit of, you know, like self construction and just you know keeping everything fresh and new, um, sky's the limit. I mean, I have I have somebody that, well, you know, um, our, our uncle that does the printing and all that shit and. Literally, once again, the sky's the limit with him. You know what I'm saying? I can give him but just what I have now, and he knows how to um, graphic design and shit like that. That uh, You know what I'm saying? He, he just makes it even better, and I'm sure that you know he'll take care of us on pricing-wise. Yeah. I mean, again. Get, get, like, I mean, just beginning. Even, even with the group chat, like, they were already bringing up ideas about, you know, doing QR codes and, and, and shit like that on, on stuff so that we can really start getting real marketing and, and get getting real results. Yeah. I was, I mean, when you, when you hear like people's stories and stuff, obviously I'm always watching interviews, but there, there was somebody I was watching yesterday and he was saying like, he got an idea. He was already, he's a comedian and he does like, his name's uncle. He does like food reviews as like a, a persona called Uncle Roger. And like, but he's a comedian on the side and then he does stand up with the persona. But he was like, you know, I was already doing reaction videos and like learning how to do YouTube for 10 years. And then I got the idea to do it. And then like the perfect video came out. It was like a fried rice video. And it like, just was like the perfect storm. But he was like, I did, he was like, I did video edit and this was, Something that in our talks in the mornings that we've been having, especially like this past couple of weeks where we're like really having like good productive talks about our plans with this. And I, to me, we're kind of been working on it little by little what we've been talking about. But it reminded me of our conversation of us saying like we should learn how to edit. We should really take the time to like perfect these little skills. He was saying he was like, yo, for 10 years I was editing my reaction videos. I was already doing the reaction video so i was getting good at being on camera finding the right things to react to blah 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 and it was like 10 years it took and then i got the right idea and then this it brought me to something you told me where you were like bro you kind of been doing this for a long time already and i was like yeah like five years like that's not that that's not that small of a time you know and then and what you could look at it two one or two ways like oh damn i've been doing this for five years nothing happened but also like you can look at it like, look what has happened in those five years of like the people around me. Like, think about when I first started, nobody was trying to fuck with this. But now we got like a little team of like people who will give us good criticism on our shit. Tell us if it's good or bad. Um, tell us what to improve on. Kind of supports us. We all kind of want to do it. So we're all like, yo, like, this is my idea. Like, help me out, you know, the collaborative effort. And then, of course, with like the Llama Show. Me and Jimmy doing like our first episode, which felt really good. And again, me doing the llama show helped me prepare for it. Jimmy being on the llama show helped him prefer, prepare for it. And we had like a really good, solid first episode. To me, like the best first episode of something we've ever done. You know what I mean? Like in terms of like an idea where we're like, yo, let's let's try this idea. It's usually like kind of shitty when we first do it. I think with that, it was like the perfect, even today. You know, we, we talked about this all week of, like, starting the pre-llama with, like, a conversation that we can put up on the channel. And think about, like, it was a smooth conversation. We've been going for 
45 minutes, like we said. You know, like straight conversation hasn't been really lapsed. Uh, my only complaint is like when Rob, when Rob's talking, you can hear the reverb. But other than that, I've been having a muted. I'm sorry, Rob. Just so you can talk clearly. <laughs> but other than that, like a good base for what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? If we continue to do stuff like this every week. And I think we have clippable moments where we can clip the UFC conversation, clip the basketball conversation as, as its own thing, you know? Yeah. So again, like, you know, Kevin, asked, he was supposed to be in here, but Kevin asked a good question in the chat, like, what's the rollout like? You know what I mean? Like, these are things we really have to start thinking. Like, again, more different types of content, continuing the content we already have. Like, let's, I, I need to make the Llama Show better. I need to really... And also, also, like he said, like, small digestive content yeah, that, you things. know, it's it's not anything too crazy, but you get a good uh, feel for the, the type of things we do. Yeah. I mean, um, go ahead. I want to hear your thoughts about it, though. Like, our talks, it's what I like to look at them as is, like, these are very early on CEO meetings. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, th these are the type of conversations we're going to continue to have for a long time. Yeah. And the more we do, I feel like the more successful we'll be because an idea is just an idea until you until you let it out and yeah. not in no corny way or anything like that. But just by me thinking of something and passing the idea on to you, running it by you, getting your opinion on it. Sooner or later, we're going to run into something that we that, you know, you know, what, what we're what we're looking for. And it's just gonna it's just gonna go from there, you know what I'm saying? It you never like like the whole thing uh with you streaming for five years. Five years isn't five years until you start somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you started a lot earlier than us and I, I commend you for that because I when I went to start looking at what I need to become affiliate on Twitch and those type of things, um, I was like, damn, what if I would have been like AD and I would have jumped on this, you know, five years ago when you first hit me about it. And took it seriously then, you know what I'm saying? How far would I've come now? Because what you were doing before and what the, what we all got going now is like night and day is oh, is, a, is an understatement. Wait. Understatement. The con um, we have content. We make content. Now we don't do well. Of the thing is, it it's working out how it's going to work out. You know what I'm saying? Like we can plan all these things and have all these ideas, but it's going to work out the way it's meant to, at least in my opinion, you know, like, and to me, like, think about it. All the people I was talking to about this, like, it's funny because I was talking to Jimmy about this shit when we were chilling at your house, not even being his friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just telling him this shit and I was telling you, like, you were more so like, I wanted to bring you on. Jimmy was just some dude that was like, had a good conversation. He's interested in. <laughs> yeah, we're smoking a blunt, but he's interested in the conversation even back then. Yeah, and like now that I know him and like see him like actually interested, it's like oh, he was interested in it back but then. I feel like this is like brought the more creative side out of Jimmy. Yeah, because he Jimmy was differently now. Yeah, like he was still I want to say just um what's the word I was going to use a scoundrel. No, like, like he's like kind of like patriotic about this shit, like his views and opinions and stuff like that. Um, Very Italian American. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, but just how times went on, and like he's still kind of like shy about it. But you know what I'm saying. Like he's really starting to get more into yeah. the, the the talks and shit like that, and. It's actually, it grows on you. It grows on you. That's it was such thing. a... That's why I think it, like, it's something. You know what I mean? Like, right now, it's nothing. Blackout's just us, right? But when you think about just in general, like, people got blackout stickers that you guys don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Like, on their water bottles and shit, like... And likewise. Yeah, like, the same thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's spreading... And, like, when people actually find out what we are and, like, they have a day where they sit in a chat, if they take the time to sit in our chat and conversate, like, especially when 
things are good. Like when chat's popping, the energy's right on stream, and we're having good gameplay. Just in terms of games, because obviously this is what we're gonna. This is what the future of Blackout's gonna be. Conversational pieces, because that's something we can eat on forever. I mean, there's always gonna be topics for us to talk about, and we're. I think our group of friends, and we're lucky, is that our group of friends really have conversations about everything and anything and have like sometimes we have the dumb conversation where we're just fucking around and joking but i think that makes it fun but then we we can really get serious and we can really be we are able to tell each other you're fucking wrong you know and like not in a, a, a bad way but just not a lot of people are like that not a lot of people are upfront yeah. with how they feel but our group of friends especially and i think that's what makes blackout work like we really Very- are very blunt, yeah. And no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like very, very blunt and honest. You gotta oh. be like, you gotta legit be like, "Hello, buddy." What's up, bro? But you gotta really be like, you gotta understand you're gonna say something to your like our group of friends, and then be like, "I know what they're gonna say back. Am I ready for it?" And then they come up with most of the time. And dog or bird gotta, come up with something I, I had to a think mentally, of. I had, a, I had to mentally prepare myself when I sent the picture of the shirt. I, was being, I already <laughs> knew it was coming. Oh, it's so simple. You got to add more to it. I'm like, no shit. But, you know, this is just me getting my, my idea like, out into the there, physical yeah. world. You know what I'm saying? I like and it, this, this shit's going to go up in a fucking, in a case one day. <laughs> That's the first you know what I'm saying? Ever. It's the first one. You know how, like, every, like, restaurant, they'll keep, like, the first dollar first bill they hoodie. make? Look at it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wear it till it's dead. Dead, dead. That's just going to be on fucking eBay in 15 <laughs> years. You know what I'm saying? For a dummy price. You know what I'm saying? Faded and all. Still has fucking sweat stains in it. doesn't smell that good. Um, <laughs> but You're going to sell your first dollar? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Crab. It's crazy to me. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got his first dollar right now. He said it's his first. It's his number one dollar. It's the first dollar he ever made. <laughs> Don't catch it on eBay. <laughs> what? what do you mean? Oh man, what up, Hendo? How you doing, buddy? It's good, my brothers. Welcome to the pre Lama show. First you missed the whole NBA show. spiel. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. That shit was yeah. right up your alley. He had uh, fucking you Robert over you. here co-signing oh, shit out of here. Going crazy. Yo, oh, the heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I like the Heat fans right now. I love to see them. They they like they oh shit. They're, they're they get a little <laughs> they get a little crazy. <laughs> they get blown nice. out by twenty. But a true Heat fan be like, no, nah, this just this just showed the holes in the Denver game. <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> you just got your shit demolished by twenty plus points. <laughs> nah, That's but crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I want I want you guys to have all the same energy. I want all you guys to have the same energy come NFL season because I don't know anybody. Towards the end of the year, no. Towards the end of the year, no. Don't say you aren't AD because there was a lot of shit talk on my fucking Cowboys. A lot of shit talk. There was a lot of right shit talk. I don't speak just to speak when it comes to shit I don't know. And but shit know is getting jiggy sports. in Dallas. Shit is getting. Come on, bro. <laughs> we mean I don't know about football at all. I don't know about football at all. And I know that niggas in Dallas ain't shaking like that. Uh-uh. <laughs> you guys yeah, are following the narrative. Dallas got the street talking since The narrative? Following the narrative. Oh, following the narrative. Following the narrative. Go ahead. I'm telling you. Like I said, have the same so when energy. When my team is actually good and I back them, what team I'm like? biased. You like football? Yeah, Are you talking about the heat again? Thing. Yeah, he's <laughs> got it right there. <laughs> we're on NFL yeah, talk, buddy. <laughs> we're, we're Hold on. No, nigga. Like, step out of the Distronic 5000. You guys sound like you're in a multiverse. <laughs> <laughs> One of you mute your mics while you talk to me. Crazy. I can't believe no one said this to you already. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How fucking dare you? Oh, man. Anyway. No, I, I love the heat, man. They, they have great. They're doing great. But also, if if it takes a, a how tall is how tall is this guy? Seven some odd, a what white Serbian, wherever the fuck is from, dude, to sh- humble y'all, man. He's gonna do it to you. He's gonna drop upon your head tops he's like gonna get drizzles. Excited about it. Forty one drops, forty one on their heads. I'm not fucking worried. Forty one, nigga, dro- dragging a sack Miami's across your forehead. Seven and, and that's history. The both of them drop. Your that's like the first time by Conor first McGregor. Time. Oh my god, the mascot's in the ER because of the, the fuck is that about? 
Well, with that, <laughs> see, it's unnecessary. Yo, yeah, the whole organization yo, got some, some stuff going on. The Nuggets are Conor McGregor right yeah. now. But the mommy's yeah, out there. Crazy. Look, like, you guys got some stuff going so for So Deontay Wilder punched a mascot on some, like, Spanish network and knocked him out as well. <laughs> <laughs> but what makes Conor's worse, and I think now that I think, now that I'm actually, like, I said the Deontay Wilder out loud, Conor probably was like, how do I one-up that? Oh, let me hit him with another shot. But the other shot really was like he was putting him out. <laughs> like, yo, this ain't no, this ain't no soft punch, bro. He, yeah, he punch thinks that. he's hitting a like a no, like a cost. He heard man, like, 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 guy in the face. He heard Joe Rogan go ah, <laughs> and he went he went for the kill. You really use the same joke twice in the same podcast, bro. This is going yes, down. yes, because it was that good. Because literally, that's just how it looked. He he was like a fucking dog. He seen him. He seen him fall down. He's like, oh, "What's next?" Bow, bow. Hold that. The shotgun to your face, kid. It's not like joke over. No, no, no. Now I'm gonna take it a step farther. It's fucking acting. Probably to a whiskey. Bye. It gets booed. That's racist. By the whole arena. That's that was racist. Oh man. What's up, man? We got. What, 40 minutes until the Big Llama Show episode? I don't even know what episode now. After 100, I stopped counting. A lot of episodes. A lot of episodes to keep track of, you know what I'm saying? When is when is the next season start? Because <laughs> this bro. is the one long-ass season. <laughs> bro, I hate that he puts the season. I'm like, we don't even do seasonal content. <laughs> we just have one run long, one long running show. Episode 105. What would that even mean for you? <laughs> make it like what is it, what would a season entail? I don't know that you can so, really break it up. When we started it, we were doing it with Loki. The I mean, we Loki. could still do seasons. It'll be like the fucking keeping up the Kardashians. <laughs> Your season <One> long end. <laughs> <laughs> season three is the same shit. Yeah, but they yeah. take breaks. <laughs> yeah, I don't. We don't <laughs> take breaks. Dude. I don't know. I have no clue, dude. But he likes it, so we keep it up there, dude. I gotta apologize to him live on stream tonight. <laughs> Better cut him off first quarter before he even gets into anything. Yo, ask before how he even doing. starts talking about his day, I, I'm gonna be like, yeah, like yo, shut the fuck up. Let me get shut the fuck up. Chest. Listen, listen, what the fuck I gotta say? <laughs> Why? I had a terrible episode last week, and I also shitted on his like new intro that he was excited to put out that he showed me beforehand, and I didn't say nothing about it. But when first I watched it the better. second time. I was like, this is not good. <laughs> so I said it live on stream. And he, oh, he, my God. Yeah, he sent me the longest text messages he's ever sent me the next day. You know, shit, you heard his feelings. I heard his feelings, dude, and I felt terrible. I was like, you know what? I did have a bad show, and I do apologize. You don't deserve it. Oh, he that. said you had a, he came at you, too. He was like, you had Yo, a fucking shit show, You had a buddy. shit show, buddy. You piece you of garbage. Who the fuck do you think you are? Yeah. <laughs> You've been delivering for 100 episodes, but this Guy one hit bad you with the facts, too. He came at you. Dude, I respected it, yo. What do you want? You know Bitch, I mean? you don't fix yourself. <laughs> this is the... <laughs> I thought he was going to kick me out the show. Herc is waiting in the bullpen, <laughs> buddy. Yeah, Herc is literally... <laughs> Herc is jerking his dick in the background. And he's fucking you arguing. think Herc's in the chat every week because he wants yeah. to be there, dude? No, he's... Yeah, yeah he's there for the fun. vibes? Nah, nigga. He's there for an opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Man, he knows you're going to blunder it. He's in there waiting. He's already crouched in his whatever the fuck they call I it. I told him he replaces me. I'm starting a show that day. Same time. <laughs> Man, come on. We're That'd gonna, be crazy. It's gonna be fucking eight PM West time. <laughs> West side. And then you move here in August. I'm just kidding about all that JK's, stuff. I said. It's back at ten. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, be cool. Please still watch my show. But speaking of, I'm the same yeah, I I don't hear anything you're saying. I do. Full alert right now. Uh, with the whole Spider Man movie. Oh, you're they did whoa, the fucking... whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Shut the fuck up. What do you mean, spoiler? And then you just get right into the bullshit. <laughs> I haven't seen the movie yet. Spoiler. I haven't you know seen the fucking That's movie, a... bro. What's you your problem? It, Are you gonna go it's been out for like three days. No, nah, it's been out for two three days. Weeks. It's like two weeks. Shut up. <laughs> you fucking live up. under a rock. Oh, I'm so... Nigga, you... Have you seen the movie in the theaters? I know. How many times have you gone to the bar since this movie's been out? <laughs> 
I don't know when it came out. The, Two the weeks ago. But the bar yeah. is down the street from my house. The <laughs> movie theater is not. Ah, uh, <laughs> interesting. Hmm? Interesting. Hot takes. Hot takes. But yeah, he has Whatever. seen it in the theater. That's because no one, no one remembers his address right this second. You know what I'm saying? I can't double check that. He could be just talking shit out of his ass. It really could you, be a movie theater right down the street. You walked down the street, you dumbass. The street. You were here. There was no theater, dude. Remember? I forgot my wallet head ass nigga. I got a paper thing. <laughs> yeah. You got a head ass why nigga. Bring up, why, why you bring up old shit, nigga? Because you acting you like you forget. You acting forgetful right now. I'm going to make sure you remember a little bit. I got a new Yeah, clearly. Fucking Ray Charles in this bitch. Uh, where's, where's my wallet? <laughs> God, where's drives my three wallet? hours away with no wallet. Gets there. Where's, where's my wallet? His, that's his pockets when he gets out <laughs> of the car. Not even that. We are walking in. He had, he had already L, got to the apartment. We were walking. Then we got dressed. We, cha- we, we were leaving to go to the bar. I was oh, getting wait. dressed and I started going. Where's down my myself, wallet, like, boys? Where's my wallet? <laughs> uh, don't try to paint the picture and make yourself look better. We were <laughs> down the street from my home. Uh, oh, I don't have my wallet, boys. <laughs> Didn't we leave the bar to go back and look? Hell no. No, We, we were before, down the street before, from my apartment. Yeah, he called his it. girl. She <laughs> oh. did not find it in the car, wherever the fuck she looked. Supposedly, allegedly. She knows she had that shit in her hand. So, I got you, babe. I don't know exactly where your wallet is, dude. Like, <laughs> I don't know either. Like, yeah, I'm looking at it right now. I was like, fuck. Oh. Crazy. Good time, sir. What a time to be alive. Good time. Be alive. <coughs> but yeah, I'm excited for uh, the continuation of the J Bird and AD podcast late cool. night. I want to see what that progresses to. That was a what great first episode. Yeah, Somebody? so we're doing a Monday show now. Nice. Yes. Uh, we're gonna live stream it. That's what the the late night logo is for. But yeah, we're just oh. gonna, we're gonna stream it, and we're just gonna talk about what me and Bird talk about. You know, whatever. Last week we talked yeah, about like Bird. we've been talking about like the USC uh, Ultimate Fighter shit. But you, know. you just caught the butt end of our Supreme Llama. Yeah, this is gonna be a new thing that we're gonna do. Before we game on Sundays, we're gonna do like forty five to an hour, and then just post a it. lot earlier next time though. Yeah, I bro, I couldn't sleep. Dude. I had one of those nights. I'm like, I'm no, I understand. All I understand. It was an, it was not a smart move, dude. I knocked the fuck out. We do have time. It's nine thirty. You got like two games in us. Two games. All right. Switch two over. Legos. I'm out. I like what Rob did. Oh, I, I got him muted still. I'm going to tell him. I like what he did with that background for you, though. I like it as well. It was very good. Very nice. Can you guys hear me good? Now nah, nah, I can. No, you hear I mean, good. I just put it to my Turtle Beach's mic. Uh, got to keep that shit separate. I'll just use my regular mic for stream. Honestly, you guys are just like... Get a really good mic with good range and then set it up in between y'all two. I was on a budget and this bitch was still fifty dollars. I respect that. I'm just saying. Yes, eventually I'll be getting like a two hundred dollar mic. When I make it to that point. I'll be right back, but I'm loading into the game. Rob, did you come in here crazy with some with some wild takes? You said what? You said, did you come in here crazy with some wild basketball takes? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, man. Bro, every time you thought I was crazy, I had to back it with the facts. Yeah. It may have not made sense at first. But it did in the end. I don't know, man. It's looking like the end right now. I don't know. I still feel like the end. We're in Discord, bro. Are you crazy kids getting online? Just tell you talk to her later. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs>
You're lit, bro. Rob, what's crazy is you're a, you got a whole kid. You're trapped. I'm trapped. Uh, having a kid does not mean you're with. You were entrapped. I wasn't, I wasn't trapped, trapped, bro. I told, I told you this was intentional. That's crazy. I can't. I mean, I want to have it young, but like at the same time, it's just too much money. Not I, it's not, yeah, when you get help from family at first, bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro, my girlfriend's cousin, bro, she got so many diapers, bro, because her, her, her husband's black, bro, the whole, both side, the Guatemalans and all the black people came, bro, I'm talking about, they probably had, like, 20 or more big I boxes like of diapers. Like twice a month. Are you kidding? Yeah, As long as you go to like a Sam's or a Costco. Yeah, yeah. I, got, I got Sam's card. Yeah. I got my mom's shit, so. The only thing is Sam, though. Sam's is 30 minutes from where I'm at, bro. Like, that shit is. Yeah, but, but I was used to posting on Instagram. Where's fucking AD? I'm getting one. You feel me? I love fucking what? Oof. There we go. What's up, you slots? It's, it's affordable, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if you're like good at managing your money, it's, it's not that bad. Yeah, not I, bad. bro, I was mad, bro. You should have seen me. I was so cheap when I first started working here, bro. I, I, I was so... Then I get like, I'm oh, so get bougie. Just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I'd be like, damn, after I'm done, I'd have to put a dent. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. I don't like saying that. Oh, kick gay, bro. What the hell? Why the kick hand, dog? I think it's a... Huh. Should have kept him, it's probably better than Gabe. It's the same thing with acrylic when you soak it off. Like, normally, but when it has to be like, you have to get a brand new set, it's not a fill. Where's AD at? He said he was going to be right back. Probably going to take a dump. It doesn't have acetone in it. We should have kept him, dog. Bro, who thinks better? Big Llama or Gabe? I give that to Gabe. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know Llama, but Llama just lays down. That nigga got the motherfucking rock. Okay, who's... Okay. <laughs> who's another... People that we be playing with, um... Was Llama's son's name? His play, or PlayStation name, whatever oh, it is. Oh, Angie, I think his name. I don't know. Angie. I don't know. I've never Angie. seen Gabe one v one. No, 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 not uh, Angie or Hercules. Hercules. Okay. Um, Jay Birdie or A. I thought Hercules over me. Yeah, Hercules is pretty good. Okay, J Birdie or AD? AD. <laughs> okay, <close>. okay. <laughs> Rob or J2? I don't know, man. If you look, bro, if, if you look at my stat, if you look at your stats, if you look at stats, bro, see the stats <laughs> and look. And, Yo, and look we look at every single rank game we play in history. No, 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 no. F forget yeah, rank game. 
Forget ranks. Forget rank game. Go to regular multiplayer, bro. If you look at my score per minute, Your I'm score at 400. Per minute, that's in public yeah. match, bro. It don't matter. It don't matter. You score for a minute. Game. There's some. There's some motherfucking game that I join. I get like two kills, and I'm like, why the fuck am I playing this map? And then I leave. Mm, I yeah, but score for a minute, you can be minute playing like, what's down. that? What's that one? Or you gotta like just stand in the point, and you get points every like hard second. Point. Mm. Hard point. I don't play hardcore. I play hardcore team deathmatch all day. You play, you play you hardcore. Play? You're fucking weird. How? That's you. <laughs> Just kick him right in the middle of the sentence. Just kick him right in the middle of the sentence. <laughs> That's <laughs> <fucked> <laughs> <up>. <laughs> he's, he's working with a finite amount of time. Are you guys in the Discord or the party chat? I'm in both. But it depends. You be you're on Discord on your phone, right? No, I was on PlayStation, but I can't hear the game if I'm on. So I'm I'm just in the game channel. Yeah, just in game chat. You're good. Because we can we can switch between the two. <clears throat> He'll just sit in game chat. Yeah, but I don't hear anyone else. Look, six. It's been a minute since you've been in the chat. How are you, bro? Hell, I switched. Back there, back there. Back right. Mid, mid. Nah, don't be. Top. Let's have Rob. First floor. Double doors. Behind the way. Found him.
Oh my god, you guys couldn't hear me this whole time. No, not at all. I was muted. Well, that's interesting. I've been saying, I was like, yo, I don't hear none of these niggas. Hello, buddies. Hello, friend. Yeah. Oh my god, these kids aren't good, though. To be honest. Oh, he's up here with me. That's why I'm so embarrassed. I was one of y'all. Sorry, me. All right, boys. Yeah, just... We can stop dying now. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> nah, you you got trust issues now? <laughs> all right, I do. Right. When, when did you dump it or not? Oh, my God. Mm -mm. No. Kill them, boys. Shoot him. Oh no, I needed to lay down there. No! Interesting. Yeah, I can't hear none of these niggas. Oh no. Any who? Hello? Hello, me? Thank you. Yo, Rob. Yeah, I hear you fine. Right. I think it's just Does he hear you. Do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Does he hear me? He hears you. Do you hear him, head? <laughs> I don't hear I don't hear fucking Gabe. I don't hear Gabe. AD saying he doesn't hear Gabe. Top top. No, he shit on me nice. Shit on me nice. Get that shit, boys. Get that shit, oh, boys. Fuck. I'm going B. You guys keep doing shit. anything? Top I'm not beard. One back here. He's going around. He'd be mistaken if he is. There he goes. <laughs> Oh, he's right there, hurt. Laying down by the other stairs. I just found one. Oh my god, oh, he's actually living. What the fuck? Man. We didn't get A? Oh no. no Alright, we're, we're good then. We're in a good position. Alright, buddy. Put on. Behind us. Yeah. They're just Kill. hitting on spawn now. Oh, they're, they're crapping B hard. Get two at least. Oh, top side. Top bar, top bar. Going pool. Fucking head glitching. God damn it. Good for him. Head glitching off the fucking laundry, that cuck. Mm, that's exactly what that's exactly got. <laughs> yeah, well, guess what, buddy? I got a cruise message. He's gonna fucking feel me, dude. <laughs> Right in his fucking pooper. Go away, go away, go away. We got B, we got B. Oh, fuck it. B. No, we, no, B's done. Go away, go away. Yeah. Yeah. Boss side shit on. Hold One that. coming your left side. Nice. Nice. Get it. Shot only. Let's go, boys. Hog sandwiches. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, <bro. coughs> oh, There's. 2B, one up top, one down low. Oh, he put a trophy down. 
piece of shit, this guy. Plastic ground is in. Up top. He's up top, her. Oh, that's top window, watching over B. I've been stunned. Hell, man. Two back. Got them both. Oh my god. Smacked them. And the high knees. Third? Eat my ass. Smack. Top bar. AD. Mm. He might be going top window B. They're going, they're going A. They're going A. They yeah, they're going A. Right. Yeah, yeah. One spot, sir. We'll throw on A. Where's the guy that killed you? Oh shit. They're, yeah, they're stacking A now. At least two. One's on A. Yeah, yeah, they got a trophy down. I wish he had the oh, oh, man. They got a trophy so down. They got a trophy. Don't play it directly. You get hit, right? You get the trophy. Yeah, let me see that. I can see that being true. Not a bad camp. Oh, spot. he's going bottom window. Two, two, two. They're spawning bottom window. Go out top. Backside, they're taking from their backside. Up top, hurt. One window. Face scan. Ah, uh, there's already one down here. Two down here, two down here. Fuck, they're two downstairs. Yeah. To your hard right. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, buddy, what the fuck? I think he just shot me at the windows. Oh, sorry. You're spawn trapping them too. One's up top window. <laughs> Bottom window. Oh, they blew. They blew. Contest. Back door, back door. I got crews. Hold it. Yeah. Oh, I see what the one in. That's crazy. Drop it anyway. Fuck him. Drop on yourself. He's in, the, he's in the backstage going B now. Away, no fucking way. Only oh, two lives, though. Incredibly. Incredibly. Yeah, we gotta get there. Two lives. I'm on there. I'm on. My baby. And I got one. Be good. Be good. Oh shit! I'm gonna like, dead you out. Oh my god! I'm gonna give you a lot of back shots here. Solid work. Everything is easy. Nice. 9.49. Oh, there goes my friend. Oh, there you How go. are you? Adrian. Adrian. Oh, that was a... Uh, shellacking. I had a good time. Damn 9.49, what are we gonna do? 2v2 hard point? 2v2... <laughs> Two two hard point sounds irrelevant. Just do a TD. A TD. Right. No, but the fuck we is play a hard rank point? because we play rank matches. Now. No, no, so. that sounds awful. God damn it. Sounds crazy. Don't even play rank when I'm not trying to play rank. Especially mean? when we're just doing free. This guy plays rank all the time. <laughs> <laughs> this guy plays rank in his sleep. He dreams rank. I love <laughs> rank. Dude, my favorite. But we're trying to throw a tournament, so we're getting everybody on the private rank matches. Get them prepared, mm -hmm. ready. You know I mean, grooming them. <clears throat> but it's the grooming only game where you guys you play, so how are you not ready yet? Yo, AD, I didn't even get to touch on this on the fucking pod, but <laughs> y'all had a new idea. Yo, what if we made like blackout Letterman jackets? That'd be hard. That'd be hard. Or gunfight. Oh, that's nice. Go gunfight. That's yeah. on fire. But do the OST when we gotta pick them up off the ground. Nah, that's on fire. Yeah. They don't hey, do... scary ass. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that one. <laughs> <laughs> they like that one, man. I'll do the regular fucking. Okay. okay. What's Fuck. teams? Are they uh, just randomizers? Uh, yeah, I'll do so. Alright, boys. One last game before the llama show. 10 p.m. Eastern. 10 p.m. Eastern. Bam, 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 bam.
Who's on my team? Oh boy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, I was by that reaction. I know what you got, dude. <laughs> it's me. It's you need. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna let that glitch you right here. I've been playing this this mode a little bit. Yeah, me too. They're downstairs. They're downstairs. Look at this coward camping. Nice murder. Up top, up top, up top. <laughs> he didn't make my little fucker. Oh, Whoa! Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> <man. She went. laughs> oh, woo, nigga, you got hugging. Boo! Nigga. <laughs> you guys, you guys double teamed, but I was just a bait for you guys to expose yourselves. <laughs> I'm gonna expose myself, alright? Oh, Rob can hear me, dude. I, yeah, I you can hear me. Oh, because you're in the chat? Yeah. I mean, not that I know what call out cool. for this map. Mm -hmm. Play, play, play. I'm hurt, hurt. <laughs> they're both, they're both hurt. <laughs> I'm eating myself from Rob. <laughs> I'm going secure now. Oh yeah, I, I'm secure now. Look at this. Very campy. Game sucks dead. Alright. Let's play tight. Hold Good hands. Fight? Okay, I'm going down there. They just keep going to the same spot, bro. Up, they're going up. They're already up. Watch. And it's up, and it's up, and it's up, and it's stuck. No, he's trying to leave! That's me! No, he's not even. Stupid idiots. Hit him with the fucking Glocky, nigga. <laughs> Let's go. I'm thinking itching. Let's go. 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 let us go that check out block this moron so you can actually give me some comms Jesus Christ I I, I muted him with the camera he heard you that time they're here yeah, I'm high he's just killed me he just killed me turn around right behind you he's hurt kill me immediately right there on my body the fuck was that about right there he's hurt you right there you are he's saying he's hurt oh, oh! Get beat the fuck up, nigga! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, nigga! He's hands certified. The wrong map. He's hands certified. He showed the nigga. wrong map. <laughs> Damn. This is the one map I fucking hate, dude. No, we got this. We got this. We got this. You should have played the guy that the gulag map. Not yeah, good, we're gonna have to take it back off the chin at this point. There he goes. Top left. Top left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This faggot right here is camping the fucking. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> Yeah, big whoop. Yo, he's shit on me. He's out of fun. That's not a body. That's your body. That's someone's body. <laughs> God damn it, bro. No. But the Glocky. Glocky going to safety, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Shot you in the ass like fucking bad boys. <laughs> yeah, we chose the wrong map, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly a very good at camping, isn't it? Oh my god, nigga, I can't do shit about anything! It's crazy to me! We got a time for the game at this point. Oh, baby, yeah, Tiger! You like that? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, still I'm, still I'm, I'm a big whoop, nigga. I'm better than you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, play slow. Once we kill Rob, we win, dude. We got both hands, dude. The scope is crazy powerful. Hey, huh? <laughs> Who is this yeah, we have just been oh. chasing the entire time. Look at this. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, bomb. Oh, oh my <gasps> god, up top. Where was he's chasing, he's chasing. There he is. No! <laughs> oh, <you piece> <laughs> right 
We got time to play another one, man. <laughs> we got fucking six one pop. She's a better goddamn map. I fucking I play actual gunfight, and every time I fucking hate this map every goddamn time. Yo, this guy fucking put this guy in his backpack. Dude. Hey, speed up. Yeah. He's one beat. kill, dude. We Nobody one mean. Zero, zero kills. <laughs> Zero and seven. Right. It's crazy. I'm so better than you, nigga. Anytime you want. Remember, you know, you know my number, nigga. You can call me up. Uh, fucking hands, the fist, the feet, nigga. You can get it however you feel like. Quiet as fuck over there. Ah, uh, Adrian, uh, how are you, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> but that shoddy no, make his body hurt. flip. He's hurt. So hurt. Okay. No. Oh, damn. I'm, no. I'm, I'm, his body oh, flip. No. Damn. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Came off from taking a nap. As long as I killed Kevin. Belly down. <laughs> All right, Gabe, let's go. What's up? Let's go. Yeah, I like it about him. God. I can't get a fucking murder today. Uh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I love you. J2's waiting. <laughs> Why is he here? Why is he doing stuff like this, bro? What, is, I what is know this? these niggas didn't just lay down. Oh, hell no, I'm throwing up in my mouth. <laughs> my mouth. <laughs> oh, my kids, they're, they're, all, do. they're all doing so well. Look at them. Doesn't drop real quick. Come on, man. Let us finish the game. Thank you, sir. Ooh. He's hurt as fuck. All you gotta do is run up there and shoot him. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> fuck. I barely I even made it. I didn't even get up there. Fucking. I didn't get up on the wall. So you killed me. <laughs> Let's go. That was. How the camera looking though? Camera looking All we do is win, win, and win, no matter what. Yeah, if you get carried, 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 no matter what. Whoa, whoa, god damn, nigga, damn! <laughs> that was bullshit. I ran into him. Got a terrible angle. It's 9.59. You hear me, AD? Oh, shit. Oh, he just sent it right now. I'm turning stream. No, yeah, like. I